So I'm at the Hobby House and they're having their annual game auction. Let's see if I can win anything cool. Well, here's what I won. I won an old vintage game called Cathedral. Starting bid was at $5 and I ended up winning it for $9. Uh, so it's a pretty cool little find. Can't wait to try it. Here we have the Disney Princess Dream Journey game. Disney games sometimes can sell for some money on eBay. Unfortunately, this is not one of them, so bye-bye. Here we have the Law and Order game. I absolutely love the show, uh, but from what I read about the game, it's not that good and it doesn't sell for anything, so I'm going to leave this here. It's Tasmania, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you can tell the box is in really bad shape. I don't think the game sells for that much either, and it's a kid's game, so I'm going to leave this here too. Here we have a game called Bells. This is a Books a Million and it's on sale for five bucks. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up. It's got some good ratings and it looks fun. Here we have Monopoly, the National Parks Edition. They only want 50 cents for this one, so I'm definitely gonna pick it up. I'm pretty sure that I can sell this for some money on eBay. Here we have Monopoly, Lord of the Rings Trilogy Edition. Uh, the same price as the last game, and this one has the ring, which I need. I think I'm gonna definitely pick this one up. I think I can go ahead and sell the other copy I have too. Here we have a game called Rummy O in a collectible tin. This is basically Rummy Cub. I have this game, um, and I don't think it sells for that much, and since I already have it, I'm going to leave this here. Here we have The Hunger Games Training Days, a game of strategy. Love the movie series. Never heard of this game. Uh, looks interesting, and I think I'm going to go ahead and get it and try it out. They don't want that much for it. Here is the Space Jam board game. I remember this movie from way back. Um, this game has some pretty bad components, and some of them are pretty messed up, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Well, here's a board game for all you hardcore game enthusiasts, Laverne and Shirley, yeah! I'm going to go ahead and get this game, simply because it's a vintage game, and I can go ahead and review it, uh, so that's about the only reason I'm going to get it. Here's another Monopoly board game, this is the Planet Earth Edition. Uh, this game is in like new condition, um, and this game sells for a little bit on eBay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. When you look at this box, you're probably thinking there's a chess game in here, but when you open it up, there's this really beautiful cribbage board. It's complete, and I think this is from the 70s. I'm going to definitely pick this up. My wife and I love cribbage. Here we have the ever-popular mousetrap game. One thing I've learned about this game, if you find it, look for the ball first, because that's always the piece that's missing. Such is the case here, so I'm going to leave this here too. Here we have Locust. This is a smaller box edition. We have this game. I would normally get this game, but the box is a little bit beat up, and I don't think I can sell it for that much with a beat up box, so I'm going to leave this here. Well, folks, that does it for us this week. Tune in next week for another episode of Big Game Hunting. Y'all have a great day.